All right, I think it's time for me to show you the populated PCV. Here it is. It'll come like this on a little uh, bubble wrap thing. Let me show you, taking it apart there. This is to protect it because it comes from a far, far land, right? And so in order so it doesn't get scratched and damaged, then this is the best way and most economical way that we found. So there we go. It's going to be in a bag like that. So what we have here is the 5X kit. I've made a 10X and a 5X so far, and this right here is the 5X. Let me show you how to put it together, right? Uh, and of course, it's really easy to put it together, so, but, you know, nonetheless, you still have to go through it. Let me show you. You will need some cells. Here is a sample of all the cells that I, I currently have on the website on Jack35. Uh, these are from the 4-cell uh, modem packs or modem uh, battery packs these are from the scooter the 20 cell scooter packs right uh this is from a brand new one the six cell uh samsung 26f packs all of these are available and i will be adding some more and of course by the time you see this video maybe all of these will be out of stock but i'll hopefully have different ones right and these are all salvage cells cells that come out of uh, packs sort of like this one's here right this is what uh i have a bunch of these ones coming up in different color and different configurations but uh you salvage the cells and i have videos on how to salvage those cells but once you have them clean and then you test them and then you mark the capacity and all this stuff here then then you can put them on your pcb kit so let's do that now so here we go Super simple, super simple. You go positive, negative, right? And then you get your cells, right? And then you populate the kit. There you go. This is the positive. The positives on top, you put them all the same way. And you try to put a like cell. So don't put one cell that is you know too different like for example this is a 2900 milliamp hour right and these two that i put in here are 2750 uh, around 2750 so then 2847 2782 that's fine uh 2860 ooh, 2901 some of these are coming out pretty good 2850 2787 85 there we go that one goes on there 28 2650 that's a bit small 2841 2750 bam 2719 there you go 2650 2650 2638 28 2830 28 27 28 18 28 board and they're all 2750 with around 2750 within 20 to 30 uh milliamp hour difference right so this is a well-matched board so now you can make another one the next one could be 2200 2800 3000 it doesn't matter as long as they're all uh match within the same board okay because this is its own battery pack and we're going to parallel this to the next ones okay let's do the other four boards. Okay, now that you have all of these boards populated, then what you're going to do is choose the bottom one and then you're gonna put the little feet these are the the plastic standoffs and what you're gonna do is you put it here on the bottom put this guy in here not too much because these are plastic and you will break them tighten up a little bit there we go And he 
there we go. That's the bottom one right there. To attach the other ones. Uh, here's the thing that I always like to do, just to check, make sure that they're all uh, have good voltage. Okay, 29.1 volts. 29.1. 29.1 oh, no way look at that there's something wrong with that one 29.2 okay so we got we have one board that has a problem you see this 29 okay so it doesn't read voltage so here we go do we do this hmm. that one's 4.1 8, 12, 16, 20, 23. Huh? What's the one in the front here? What happened? See? There's no voltage there. Oh, okay. So here's the problem. I got it. I got the problem, I figured it out. So on some of these cells, you see it's, they got this little extra thing here. Okay, that one was uh, was basically shielding the, the, uh, the cell from connecting. So maybe you have to, I mean, this is for safety. It adds another level of safety there so that there's less chance of you uh, shorting out the cell because the negative is right here. And the positives right there, they're so close that they put these little rings here. But sometimes when they're all like this, then they get in the way, right? So now that we uncover that was the reason, we should be fine now. Look. Whoa, 2748 though. Huh, look at that. There are all the other ones are 29, 10, which is, you know, fully charged. This one. It's showing a tiny bit lower. Let's check it out. 4.14. Yeah, that's pretty. 4.15. 4.15. Four ah, here's a cell that is low. 3.8. 3.62. There we go. 3.63. 3.63. Three point six three. Okay, these three cells here have uh, fainter uh, writing on them, which means that I think what I did is I checked these a long time ago, and I might have already used them in something. So these are not fully charged. So these are not gonna work. We're gonna replace some fully charged cells because they all have to be at the same voltage when you put them on this. Uh, on these boards i mean they don't have to because eventually your bms if you install the bms it's going to take care of that right but you don't want to do that intentionally so it's just so much easier to change these cells for some that are already fully charged and they're equal you know 27 around 2750 uh, milliamp powers let's look for some of those 2718 that's a bit low but okay whatever 2717 2714 there we go they're a bit lower than the ones that are there but should be okay these ones also have those things in there this one is kind of loose so i'm going to just remove it so then you mount those positive negative pay attention to the positive to the negative okay now let's check the voltage again Voltage, voltage. There you go, 2908. A little bit lower than the other ones, but it's it's okay. That's that's close enough, right? So here it is. This is the very first one. Uh, you add the second one. There you go. Then you add the four standoffs. Add a third one. More standoffs. Then there's this one. There we go. Right. 
so there we go now to connect these boards all together right the main uh, conductors are connected already by these standoffs right so this one's carrying the current from here from here from here so all 29 volts from each individual of these boards it's being connected through here so if you put uh, lug terminals here right then you have 29 and all of these are going to feed it equally right um also with your kit you're gonna get a uh, xt60 connector so if you choose to you know use that as your you know point of exit for power here then you would have to put it in here making sure that you do the positive to the negative by watching the the, the polarity there uh, you'd have to solder that before you populate this board like in this case if you decided to do this you just remove this board take one battery at least one like this cell out of here and then solder the that connector here and then you use it like that right there's another way to remove power and that's of course if you decide to use uh my uh bms board right this is a bms board what you do is you then put four uh standoffs here and then you install it here and uh the current goes through the standoffs it goes through the bms's and then this is the output right and this is where you would connect your load right and of course your ribbon will be connected all the way to this one and this that's how the bms's will uh, balance the cells through that ribbon cable that goes through here let's install that ribbon cable uh, i have changed the design originally they were like this this is an old version with a connector that is 90 degrees but the problem is that it didn't fit in a lot of the enclosures and on a lot of the the uh you know the projects that i was making so then uh, i decided to make a few of these for those projects and then i decided well these work on everything these don't work in half of the stuff so why not use only use these right because and of course it's the only thing you have to do is just to add a little bit more cable you know because then you'd have to and they're a little bit harder to put on there but as you will see right now it's not that hard so let's connect this guy so they have like a keyway here you just got to make sure that to align that so for example here right we just connected the first one right and then the second one right you'll have to go in there and then bend the cable but that's it you, you know it went in there bam not very hard you bend this one too there it is that's connected right so there's a little bit more cable that is used this way but you eliminate the all that extra dead space that it would create by having the the 90 degree one of, uh, version of this connector so this is much much better i think because then allows you to have a smaller footprint uh, and the one of the most compact battery pack that is uh, possible with these boards here, right? So there you go. So of course this is available as a kit, five X kit. So it comes with five of these boards. You can use them like that. You could have another set of five and then instead of doing 24 right you'd put uh you could use just two sets of bms's another one here and then you put these two in uh, you well you can put them in parallel then it'll be 24 right and each one could be able to do a max of about 50 amp continuous but so you'll have 100 amps off of this little pack right here of course uh with only five boards you you'd have to have the right cells these cells don't like to put much more than about five amps so you're talking about five ten yeah so that'll this is this is stack right here is only capable of 25 amp amps out right so you will have 25 and then 25 and then you you have 50 amps here or you can connect them in series right so the positive goes to the negative of this one and then the positive goes now and so then uh now you have 48 volts right and you it's a capable of 25 amps at 40 at 25 so to, uh, 48 volts 25 amps 
right? And that's what this pack will be able to give you. Uh, also, you could buy it with the state of charge, and this is the same thing. It works by putting these here, connecting the ribbon there, and these guys will tell you this, the state of charge of the uh, of the battery. And so these, unfortunately, currently are out of stock right now. I haven't been able to get them from China because of this whole virus thing, and I'm waiting for them. But these are in stock. I have you know about a thousand of these in here and so that's why i'm making this video uh so there you go this is how you would put together your 5x kit uh of populated battery uh boards all right all right hope you, uh this helps someone out there build a battery pack we'll see you guys on the next video bye